Laura with her guy Jaeger. And Laura graduated in 2007 and has graduated culinary school. Congratulations, Laura. And now I'd like to introduce to you Lauren, who is our volunteer coordinator, and she's going to help facilitate for us today. What we're going to do is we're just going to have each of the graduates <coughs> speak a little bit about their background and their experience at Southeastern Guide Dogs, and then we'll open it up to questions. Okay. Laura, would you like to start? Yes. Okay, thank you. Hi, my name is Laura, and this is my guide dog, Jaeger. Um, we started our, I started my journey um, three years ago, and I was living with my aunt. Um, I was living with my aunt, and I wasn't ready to get a guide dog at that time. And um, I would say for anybody who is interested in uh, paying a guide dog, um, you have it's got to be something that you want to get. It has to be something that you absolutely um, want. It can't be anybody's decision. It can't be, um, it can't be anyone's decision but yours alone. Um, and about a year later, I was ready and I went and I, I had my application in. And um, after graduating from nursing school, um, I obtained Jaeger a month later. Um, Jaeger just turned five years old this March and this May will mark three years that we have been together. Uh, Jaeger is not only my eyes, she is my companion, she is my best <coughs> friend and she means the world to me. We've been through just about everything together. Um, uh, hard times, good times, and always, I always say that having a guide dog is a wonderful experience because it opens a sort of new social network. Um, you get a lot of questions um, of, may I pet your dog? And I say, well, she's in harness right now. Um, it would, you know, it would distract her. Um, I would rather you not. Um, certainly, I've had people tell me, um, why do you why do you have a guide dog? Well, I do have usable vision, and um, the reason why I obtained Jaeger now was because um, in case I lose my vision, I'm already trained to Jaeger. Certainly, everybody says, "Oh, you're so young, you have your whole life ahead of you," but the fact is, death could be right around the corner. You can get run over by a car. You could, you know, certainly get hit in the head, or you know, something can happen to you, you know, we can, you know, you don't, you know, we could die at any time. Um, one thing about having a guide dog teaches you um, not only you have to have really good mobility skills, um, it teaches you greater patience. And one of the examples of that is um, traffic safety. People ask me, well, does the dog get you across the street? Yes, the dog does get me across the street in a safe manner you have to know when to cross the street. That means prior to getting a guide dog, your prerequisite would be um, mobility with a cane. And that's, I had used a cane um, prior to getting Jaeger. Um, I would say that I would probably never go back to a cane because a cane, anybody can run over a cane. Um, my experience with a cane was it's an identifier. Never be ashamed. Um, to say, you know what, I have a disability and you want help or, you know, um, people would kind of snub me like, oh, you know, that blind girl. But you know what, when they have a, a white cane pride day, you go out and, you know, it's like, you know, we're here and don't let anything stop you um, from having a disability or anything like that. Go out and achieve your dreams, achieve your goals. I just had an art show just recently. Um, and the proceeds of that are going toward um, puppies who are going to be future guide dogs. That is um, my, you know, my main source right now. Um, working, also working in the 
nursing field, um, I, I one time had to take care of 20 patients and I got to know each and every one of them. It was a wonderful experience. I still um, am working in the nursing field. Um, and I graduated from a culinary arts training program. Um, but unfortunately, the company I had worked for in the nursing field um, had cut off their workers, so I got laid off. But I am looking for work. Um, I am doing some volunteer work um, at the Lighthouse for the Blind in Pasco County. I'll be a guest speaker over there um, in July. Um, but back to the nursing field, um, my patients adored Jaeger. Um, it, it's an instant connection. It's um, whenever they would get sad, whenever they would get lonely, uh, I would bring Jaeger out and they would just, uh, the room would just light up, you know? And I, I would just, it's just wonderful. It's just, it's an added incentive, it's an asset. Um, you know, Jaeger um, has been my love. She's been my joy, and I love her to death. She, we've been together for three years, and she's my partner. Um, in culinary school also, um, out of 12 years of the school that had been going on, I found out that I was the first to ever be a student with a guide dog. And the director just went, you know, he was like, wow, this is so great. So as a result, I was put on the news. And I was put on uh, Fox 13 News. And it was just a wonderful experience. Um, and it, you know, it's, it's like, you know, there's so many people out there and there's quite a few who, like, they're not happy or, you know, it's like, you only have one life to live, you know. Find, concentrate on what you can do. Concentrate on um, what you would like to do. Um, you know, oh, treat people how you want to be treated. You know, with kindness and love, and you know, just it's. If my one thing that I say to you guys today is, me and Jaeger, we are a team, and if we can do it. So can you. Thank you.